This is the debut from writer-director Sarah Dagger Nixon. And the idea behind it is to take the revenge genre, which is this very stylized power fantasy story and really ground it in a physical and emotional reality, which is the effects of domestic violence and the trauma that it leaves behind in victims. So it's very much, it's a reinvention of the genre, but it's also a critique of it, which we kind of saw done in Lynn Ramsey's You Were Never Really Here. I mean, I feel bad bringing that up because that film was such a masterstroke that it's unfair to compare the two films. But mm. I think even though the tone is a little inconsistent in this, I think it's still such a bold statement for a debut director to make. And I'm just excited to see what she does next. Yeah. Um, so the film opens on Sadie, who is played by Olivia Wilde. Uh, she's disguised as an assurance lawyer and she's got latex crow's feet and everything. And she visits the home of a woman abusing used by her husband and confronts him and tells him that he's going to quit his job and sign over his house and most of his money to his wife. And so he immediately tries to resort to violence and tries to attack Sadie and is surprised to learn that she's actually a well-trained fighter. She takes him down in one punch and leaves him with the warning, if you bother them, I will kill you. I want to kill you. And so that's who she is. That's what she does. She helps people be free of their abusers for good. And so I liked the way that it was shot in this very cold yeah. and exact way. It's set in wintry upstate New York and the soundtrack is punctured by this very aggressive percussion. So it's a revenge fantasy without the pleasure or satisfaction behind it because Sadie is just driven by this sense of duty. And as the film unfolds, you kind of find out why and what drives her. And I think this film as well had a very truthful representation of PTSD as both an emotional and physical disorder because Sadie Sadie is a survivor of domestic abuse and she is at one point triggered by hearing this song and she has a completely physical reaction to it. She collapses from the weight of it and she's struggling to breathe and it is a physically painful experience and it helps us connect the dots of why she's doing this because she, you know, she wants to be strong to have some kind of yeah. control over her body. And that relies so much on Olivia Wilde's performance because she just gives her all to this and she mm. opens herself up and lets her be transformed, which I think... The film would not work if you didn't believe in that character's pain. And I think she absolutely sells it. And it's a really spectacular performance. I think my only small problem with it is that it still feels this pressure to deliver on the genre aspect and still be a thriller. And so it just towards the ending, it takes a few steps too far into the traditional yeah. conventional thriller, which is a shame because the rest of it is so subtly done and it handles the ideas of abuse really thoughtfully and sensitively. So, but I think as a debut film, it's really impressive. Yeah, so re it reminded me of kind of Ellen's and Winter's Bone, that kind of confidence of a filmmaker sort of things. Brilliant.